So where do we start? You know, projects outside of school have many different ways of manifesting. You can be creating something on a local, regional, or even national level. Whatever it is, I highly recommend that you go into a direction that's connected to your passion. You know, this will achieve several things. It will allow you to stay bound to your project, really enjoying your work. It will make sure you can fully commit to whatever your goal of the project is. Hence, you will impact your surroundings really positively. You know, you will develop a leadership role and you're going to have some amazing results. And of course, very importantly, it will connect your passion with your application because, you know, in your application, you do need to show passion about something. You're never going to use the word passion or I'm passionate, but you are going to have to show, oh, I genuinely care about something by showing what you've done towards that goal. So let's start by something simple. Um, let's say you're really passionate about music. A thing you might do is, you know, you might create regional workshops teaching children who might not otherwise have the resources to do so the basics of playing an instrument you know singing or maybe like even reading sheet music this would be very coherent with your application if you say you're really passionate about music you know it adds a layer of depth so let's talk about the ways colleges look at extracurriculars what happens in the admissions room is you know very complicated but we know a few things for certain. They really look for genuine interests and manifestation of those interests through your work. So don't let that discourage you if you have multiple passions. If you show multiple interests in your application, you are more than welcome to display them through your extracurricular work. Um, any topic you are excited about can be turned into a great project you enjoy, one that will benefit your community and benefit your application. So a question a lot of people ask is, you know, what really makes extracurriculars stand out? So like what, what makes it stick out? Um, so, you know, let's, let's just be fair. If you're applying to a top college, a top 10, top 20 school, there are going to be thousands and thousands of applicants with the same academic qualifications as you. In scenarios like these, perfect grades are not going, going to impress anyone. You know, most people applying to Ivy League schools or top 10 or top 20 schools do have that 4.0 GPA, those AP classes, they have them. A lot of them are valedictorians. You know, there are hundreds and thousands of other applicants who really have amazing stats. So your grades are merely a qualifying factor, you know, a first round, if you will. They prove your ability to perform in a high pressure environment. And they say you're studious, but they don't really show your personality. So the same thing is with test scores. At the end of the day, they aren't the reflection of your character. They only display that, you know, you can study for something and you can be suitable for academic work at that specific college. Now you get to essays and extracurriculars. Even in this category, you know, there's so much we can talk about. Many people have tons of clubs in their schools. Um, these manifest through sports clubs, debate clubs, and other clubs. Basically, any club that you can find inside your academic environment. While I obviously do recommend being heavily engaged in your school clubs, especially the ones you have leadership opportunities and and you're passionate about of course they are a big factor that will help you stick out in applications another factor that can really 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 help you is out of school activities and projects this is where you really have the freedom to explore your options so the world is your oyster honestly you can turn any passion into quantifiable results so let's take some examples personally i was very passionate and i still am about social impact projects especially ones concerning politics, environmental, and civic help. So during my four years of high school, while I was in academic environments, I was also really engaged in other environments, which really made me prosper. Um, I was in a high standing position in my student council. I was in different clubs, but my passions really shined through in what I did outside of school. So you can join already standing organizations outside of school. So um, maybe something in your city, in your country, in your state, whatever, um, or you can make your own. I did both. Um, for my political interests, I love participating in the European Youth Parliament. So I am from Europe, um, and it's one of the biggest European NGOs for young people, if not the biggest. So during my active engagement in, Euro in the European Youth Parliament, I educated hundreds of students about European politics uh, through EYP sessions. Um, and we talked about the executive branches of the European Commission, um, European Parliament's work, uh, and so much more. We really specialize in a branch of different topics. I was really passionate about European regional development, health systems, and European social issues. So during all of that, I was always looking to improve, and so should you. 
I was going from a position of a delegate to a position of a chairperson, to a position of vice president, to the position of the president of assembly in Bosnia, um, with my term ending in a few months. This example is great because of the leadership positions and the years of dedication and the fact that you can always climb. So whatever organizations you find yourself in, you should really aim to, first of all, be passionate about them. And second of all, really try to be persistent and climb, 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 because the more leadership skills you show, the more interesting you're going to be to these top 10, 20 colleges um, in the US. So once you bring it to paper, once you bring it to the Common App, it really sticks out. And this is a great example of an organization that was already present. EYP has been present since the 80s in Europe. So I didn't make something new. But not every project I did was already established. Another great project is one I'm really proud of. It was my TEDx event. I didn't do it with my schools because I know a lot of schools have TEDx related projects. I did this one on a national level. So my city has never had a TEDx event before that was um, outside of a school. So I really thought, you know, I should really take this topic and kind of broaden it out and make it interesting for not just a group of, you know, a few thousand people within a school, but actually like, let's bring it to a higher level. So to do that, I really started from scratch. I was 17. I created my NGO, which was the medium through which the event would be organized. And then I went to the phase of reaching out to sponsors and I reached out to the United Nations in Bosnia to sponsor the event. And after a good presentation, they were really in favor. They said yes. And that's a good way of like getting a bigger organization to kind of stand behind you. And Fast forward into the future after many months of organizing and, you know, having 20 people in my team, the event happened. Um, it was great. It was amazing. Honestly, um, I still kind of look at it with such fondness and the 20 people that worked with me were so, so, so amazing. It had over 5,000 participants globally and on a national level with several high profile speakers um, being shown across the country in different locations. So that project with the UN was successful to that level that we continue to develop projects together, tied with my interest in civic and tech education. Partnering again with them, we did workshops across the country, educating young people of different ethnicities in Bosnia about topics relevant in the country. So unlike my engagement in EYP, the European Youth Parliament, both of these projects focused on a national level instead of an international one, which was the case with the European Youth Parliament as we did travel a lot throughout Europe. So my application at the end of the day had a project that was based on a broader level that I didn't make, but was a part of and climbed the positions. And I had this TEDx project and the workshops, which were on a national level, um, but I did make them and they had the UN behind them. So this is a good example of something that can boost your application, but you have to know who you're competing with in a way. Because Dartmouth, for example, is filled with so many, so, so, so many impressive people. I talk to my friends and I'm always blown away by the, by the stuff they did in high school. Um, one of my friends made a charity that raised millions, then made a documentary on Netflix about it. And it helped her win an Oscar. And she was one of the producers. Like, how impressive is that? Some of my friends did um, national competitions and were uh, first place in chess, chemistry, biology, and so many of these um, amazing things. Then again, some of them won literary competitions on an international level. So it's really that you are sticking out in your category. You know, you can be a really pointy applicant, meaning you are really good at one specific thing. So like one passion, and it helps you so much. So I, I mentioned a lot of leadership throughout this. So can we talk about it? It's one of the most in fact, important factors that I've personally noticed with a lot of my friends who did amazing stuff. Um, and, you know, throughout my applications and the people who applied before me and people who are applying after me, we all kind of look at leadership um, because leadership positions, no matter if they're in school clubs or already established organizations or projects you make, they have enormous value. Colleges really like to see you taking charge and creating movement. Whether you're engaged in something new or something old, you always want to try to stick out and climb. You know, you want to become the president, the vice president, a high chair, um, any other competitive position your organization offers, because every college, every club in these colleges you will get into is so, so, so competitive. You want to sing, okay, you know, audition, you want to knit, you will have to show what you know how to knit. Um, you want to join a college consulting group, you know, show us your math and econ skills. Uh, it's, it's always an audition process. It's always so selective. It's kind of, there are so many people who are interested in it and you need to make sure to stick out. So make sure activities in high school represent that you can thrive in any environment, you know, be a leader. 
client. So if you do want to make a project for yourself, you really need to figure out what you're passionate about. You really want to let it take a shape in your brain. You know what you want to process. You want to think, oh, I'm passionate about this topic. How can I impact my environment? Because projects that you do for college or before college really want to impact your environment on a local, regional, national level. Um, and that sticks out to colleges. It says, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a leader in this. I'm, I'm impacting the people around me in a positive way. So think of something you're passionate about, process it, think how you can make an impact and do it. You know, you're starting from scratch, really make sure to plan it out. But whatever you do, I'm, I'm sure you can succeed. Everything takes time. Ask your friends for help. Turn it into a passion project. Be sure to coordinate and organize everything. And, you know, take your time to figure out the nitty gritty of it. Learn from the experience. With these steps, I'm absolutely sure that you will succeed in creating some amazing extracurriculars for your environment and some amazing out of schools and in school projects bound to help your application. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I helped you. Good luck with your college applications.